it? <gasps> yes. Yes! We got that wow. gyra. Oh. Protected areas are a critical part of saving wildlife. Yet when they're reduced to mere fragments amidst sprawling development, they can really lose their value to biodiversity. Apex predators, because they use such vast territories, are usually the first to go, and this can open up the door for invasive species to move in. For this episode of Wild Animals, we're going to be hunting apex predators by bringing our camera traps into a special place called Furnace da Bom Jesus State Park in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Surrounded by miles and miles of coffee plantations, farms, and cities, this beautiful forested canyon brings up an intriguing question. Can it shelter apex predators, or have the invasives already taken over? Isabella Monzo and her team from Sao Paulo State University, Jabo de Cabal, went in a few weeks ago and set a whole bunch of camera traps. Today we get to go back, pick up the camera traps, and see if we can uncover the secrets of this park. It's gonna be wild. After hacking our way through the forest, we made it to a river that flows through the canyon, which was easier than walking in the jungle, usually. By the end of the day, we scrambled back out through a cattle pasture, cameras in tow. Eight. 135. Six, nine. 69, all right. Three. Three videos? Yes. Oh, that's not very many. 22 videos. Wow, six videos. Oh, a lot of videos. More than 100. All right, we're back from the field. Uh, just walked up the river on the way out of the park. We've got all the camera traps, but we haven't looked at any of the videos yet, so we're gonna take it back to the lab and see what we got. I've got the first video uh, camera trap queued up already. Can you tell what it is on the, on the screen? It's a giant anteater. A giant anteater, it's incredible. I've never gotten a giant anteater on camera trap. Oh my God, look at that nose. Oh, there's a oh. the camera. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh capybara. Oh, it's a capybara. They're huge. Ooh. <laughs> I felt like that when I was in front of scratching yes, from the bugs. Yes. <laughs> this is a paca. Paca. Right? Big nocturnal rodent. Very nice. Yeah, right. cute. That's a good shot. Oh, oh another, another paca. Oh, a one-eyed paca, oh, and there's another oh. one. So Look at this. Looks like a hole. Oh, it is a oh. hole. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. Wow. How would a paca lose an eye? I don't know. Oh. Then that's, that's creepy. Oh, oh, the monkey! monkey. Oh. oh, it's a family! Yeah. This is a capuchin, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, look at this. Is this a, a wild boar? Yes. Ah, yeah. so invasive species. Yes. This is ah, a, the bad a, guy. Yes, yeah, this is a problem to us. A lot. They are all over the, pl the places, all over the country. They usually eat the crops. Okay. So they are a problem to the uh, farmers mm -hmm. and Sometimes they are kind of aggressive. Okay. Too. Oh, look at the tail. Oh, wow. Oh. What's he? It's a raccoon, right? That's, so it's a yes. crab eating raccoon. Oh. oh. Raccoon. <laughs> look at the face. Strange. Why did he walk right over that rock? <laughs> it's just. Oh. Oh. Something's moving the camera, no. but then also here come the coatis. So maybe it's a. Oh. Whoa, did he? <laughs> they take a jump. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this. <gasps> you love the skunks, huh? Yes, yeah, sure. Team, yeah. team, well, they're not mustelids, but no, team good. carnivore. Team carnivore, yeah. sure. Oh. oh. What species is this? This is Mazama guazubira. Ah, the brown brocket deer. Yes. Or gray, gray brocket deer, maybe. Oh. oh, a nice hawk. Catching something? Yes. Oh, another oh, hawk. Oh, the beautiful. Oh, oh, look at this. It's like a chicken. Yes. What is it? Oh, it's a crest. Yes. This is a Cractus fasciolata. Look at this. How beautiful. Wow, he's showing off. And this is it's so important, this kind of uh, records, because this species was considered extinct oh. in the state of Sao Paulo. Uh -huh. And this shows that they, they are back They're to They're still us. surviving They're in furnace. Yeah. Yes. Oh. 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 I'm exciting. Oh. Oh, what look is at this, this creature? <gasps> look at the. Oh! oh! <laughs> Who knew that armadillos could swim? He's kind of really <laughs> just. Just boom. Right, runs right into it. Yes. They're not very smart. And when he's going, his head is down in the water. Yeah, yeah. Right? He's not like looking around. He's yeah. just put his head down and just Go. going like some kind of cannonball. I believe I can. Oh. Oh. 
another naughty boy. Oh, bad dog. What are you doing in the nature preserve? So uh, what kinds of problems do dogs cause when they go into protected areas like furnace? Um, there are many, like uh, spread diseases. This is a real problem that we have. Um, they're also chasing and maybe they kill. But the biggest uh, impact are the spread of diseases. Okay, uh, possum oh, again. Yeah. Is he got something? Eating something. Oh, wow, oh. look how beautiful the face is. <gasps> oh, <gasps> possum with a full pouch. Yes. Right? Maybe it's a mom? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Right? So possums are marsupials. Yes. Yeah. And the baby. they have a pouch. And so you can see yeah. oh. she's loaded down with babies in there. Oh my goodness, look at her with her pouch. I've never seen a possum like that before. No, me too. Wow. I don't know. Oh. What is it? Oh, there oh, it is. Come... Oh. Is that a crab eating fox? Is it? <gasps> yes. Yes! We got that wow. Tyra. Why are they your favorite? Because I'm studying them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there are so many things that I love about Tyra. Um, they're so cute. They have this beautiful and cute face, but they are so aggressive. They are deadly. I think that's amazing. And it's kind of difficult to study. We do not have many money for this. But that's the point that I most like. That it seems like a great opportunity to be the one that is doing yeah. this. Right? Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow, the tails so a, of these records are crazy. So that's a that's an ocelot, right? Yes. But his tails are cut. Yes. So normally, so it's interesting because he looks like we have a species called bobcat. Yeah. Which has a short little tail like uh. this. Oh. <gasps> wow. Look at the puma. Oh, the black tail tip. Yes. You see that? It's so beautiful. Wow. What a beautiful <gasps> landscape with the river flowing. Yes. It has the biggest range of any carnivore, yes. right? Yes. We yes. have them up in up in Alaska, all the way down to uh, here in Brazil and even Argentina. And it's so interesting because it's difficult to take some uh, records of them. They are really rare. It's difficult, and especially this last years, it's been even more difficult. So it's amazing to have this type of record. Oh, Whoa. another puma. Also with the dark tail tip. Is it? I, I, I think, think that so. maybe it's the same. Maybe the same one. Look, the, the ears, one up and another oh, down. That's so weird. We've seen all the videos now. What are your impressions of what we saw? I'm so happy to see so many videos of Puma. That's amazing. It's incredible to see how many different species of carnivores we have in this, this park, even uh, the space being so small. Yeah, I was really impressed by all the common sort of the combination of all these amazing native species that we have right the crab eating raccoon the crab eating fox the kawadi the armadillo the pumas the tyras but then also the invasive species yes. that are the challenges so we also had the wild boar and the dogs that are in there and so furnace is an area that, that protects the native species but also you know ha provides space for these invasive species yes. that could be competing with or causing problems for the native species. Sure. So it's sort of, in some ways, it's a very special place, but in other ways, it kind of shows the kinds of challenges that protected areas are facing all over the place. Thanks for watching this episode of Wild Animals, and be sure to subscribe to the channel because we've got lots more coming, including some more super cool stuff from Brazil.